What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Boktober, episode number three. We covered Shaq, we covered Iverson, and this week we're covering tennis again. My favorite Reeboks is to my right. My special guest coming up maybe next episode. Her favorite Reeboks are to my left. And this episode, let's get into Reebok tennis. Late 90s, Reebok didn't use the pump. It's basketball technology. The pump looks like a basketball. It's a higher shoe, high cut, high top, super high top shoe. Let's get real. If you were in 6'4", you probably couldn't wear those original Reebok pumps. And then they put a bunch of basketball models out. Summer 90, they dropped the Michael Chang commercial. He's moving. He's hitting 1,000 tennis balls at a time in this shoe we're going to talk about today. But first, let's talk about some of the other great colorways and great models Reebok tennis put out in the early 90s. First, we're going to take a look at is a retro release, came out 2006 or seven, I believe. I got my pair in 2007. It's the Court Victory One, part of the industry pack. Reebok took some of the most iconic models and made them out of basically indestructible materials. I've had these shoes for 15 years. I got them in San Diego at a spot called Attic back in 2007. In that time, I've worn them multiple trips around New York City, multiple times in the rain, multiple times got caught in bad weather, Oh, and you can't, you cannot destruct them. They, they look almost the day they did on the day I took them out of the box. It's an incredible sneaker made out of just some, some suede and some leather and some composite stuff. Uh, but they're, they're almost like Timberland boots. Like they're great sneakers and allow you to wear your pumps in all kinds of weather. And again, sick, kind of muted colorway, goes just about everything. So I always have love for the Court Victory Indestruct Pack. Dropped 2006 or seven. I'm not sure, but I got mine in 07. Next Reebok tennis, the love tennis model we're gonna check out is the Court Victory 2. So I feel like the Reebok set the bar incredibly high with the Court Victory 1, came back almost as strong with the Court Victory 2. So no sophomore slump here. They changed the, the, the whole model up a little bit. They kept the, the furry tennis ball pump on the inside, on the outside, I'm sorry. Really cool patterns on the inside of pretty much every color of these. And just kind of scream 90s. They did them predominantly in like like smooth, kind of subdued leather colors with really cool neon hints, kind of what tennis outfits looked like at the time. And again, it really came back strong with the Court Victor 2, in my opinion. And then obviously, you already know this. You follow me online, all it's one of my top favorite sneakers of all time, regardless of brand, regardless of sport, regardless of the era it came out in. But the original Court Victory one. Again, it's the first Reebok pump model that was low cut enough. You could wear it if you were, you know, 6'5", playing power forward in the NBA. It's super premium leather upper. It's, in my opinion, a perfect amount of white, great leather with super insanely picked colorway on the green and the neon for the tennis ball. And I remember seeing these as, as a kid, and I'd seen basketball pumps before, obviously everybody did, but when they switched it up and put the tennis ball on the tongue, yeah, that was something different. It was different. I didn't have these originally. These were the 2010 uh, retro release I got my hands on back, I guess, 12, 13 years ago now. But again, Reebok had a great run in tennis in the early 90s, and I don't think it gets better than the Court Victory one in the original colorway with the tennis ball pump. See you next time.